There it is, Canada. Maybe they'll let us in another day. Not now. I don't know if it's nervous energy or excited energy or a mix of both. This is a dream come true. I've wanted to do the divide ride for about 10 years now. Just in case some of you don't know what the Great Divide is, it's the world's longest off-road bike route at 2,700 miles. It starts in Banff, Canada and goes to the border of Mexico. I mean, there's so many months that go into preparing and thinking and buying gear and getting every, everything set and staring at maps and then boom, here I am. <laughs> now it's go time. I'm not in the comfort of my home. It's time to explore and uh, I like that. That's when I feel most alive and that's I think why I'm feeling a little bit nervous and scared and excited. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to be sitting at home watching Netflix. I'm going to be riding my bike all day every day up and down big mountains. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'm so attracted to this route is that it's mostly off-road, which means not many cars. Ah, so I can breathe easy and just enjoy the riding. All right, I've finally hit dirt about 20 miles south of Eureka. This is what I came for. Dirt roads, solitude, simplicity, remote beauty. It all starts now. All I gotta do is pedal. And that's really all I have to do. I have to wake up every day and pedal my bike. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. It doesn't get much more simple than that. I get asked how I know where to go. I've downloaded the GPS file of the entire route onto my Wahoo computer and it tells me exactly where to go. It's like using Google Maps on your phone. If I go off route by as little as 15 feet, it'll let me know. I used to use maps like everybody else used to use, but it's nice just uh, having this little computer tell me what to do. It's also nice just to get off the bike and sit next to a river. The sound is very soothing. It's not even noon yet, and I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> But a lot of this route is going to be through bear country. And that is why I have a canister of bear spray right here. Pepper spray. I hope I don't have to use it. Um, but definitely, it's nice to have it as peace of mind. And at nighttime, I'm going to have to get my food up high. I know bears love refried beans. I found some of that uphill that this route is so famous for. 200,000 feet of uphill during the entire route. You put your head down and you pedal hard, you go up, and then you get to enjoy downhill. This is a really nice stretch of road right here. I feel like the trees are hugging me. I think I'm looking at the southern end of the Canadian Rockies. There's still snow way up there. Uh-oh, we've got one of those steep uphill swings. <laughs> and I've already gone up 5,000 feet today. Whoa, 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 look at that. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. My goal today was to make it to a lake and camp, and I've done it. Just so beautiful, so. This first day is any sign of what's to come, I think I'm in good shape.
Here we go, day two. No crashies, no whammies, no flatties, and no bear ease. Good morning, dear. Oh, nice jump. I like going uphill. That's my favorite thing to do. I mean, I like going downhill too, for sure, but I really, I feel like I put my head down and I do my best bike riding when I'm going uphill. I also feel like I do my, my best thinking when I'm riding uphill. And then when I get to the top of a mountain, ah, I earned it. Buddy, how you doing, little garter snake? I used to catch guys like these when I was a little kid. I loved it. Oh, yes. Perfect temperature. Yep. This is quite all right. Whoa, no way, I found a lucky penny. It was glistening in the sun. I have a whole jar at home of lucky pennies. This might be the most special lucky penny ever. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. Woo. You probably won't believe me, but it's 9 p.m. and it's still essentially daylight out. <laughs> I'm going to try to fall asleep. We'll see if that works, but what a great day. And I'm excited to see what's down the road. Buenas noches. Mm. Looking good, Mr. Bike. Bye bye, beautiful campsite. stopping and listening to the birds, and checking out the flowers. My bike makes a lot of noise as I pedal. You know, the crunch of the gravel under my tires and all the bike bags squeaking. It's nice to stop and just take it in. So I'm just riding along and I see out of the corner of my eye something brown dart off the road and my body just froze for a second and my heart started beating super fast and it felt like an electric shock through my body and it's amazing what a millisecond of fear will do to the human body. It was just a deer <laughs> but still it scared me. I was like oh god please don't be a bear. <laughs> And it wasn't. Whoo! Woke me up. I'm seeing a lot of poop along the trail. There's more poop.
whoever made this route, somebody at the Adventure Cycling Association, whoever that is, thank you. This is really well done. I know I'm only three days in, but what I've seen so far is very impressive. I can't imagine the time it would take to put this whole thing together from Banff, Canada to the border of Mexico. That's a lot of work and I appreciate it. I haven't been climbing a ton today, at least it doesn't feel like it, but way off in the distance are some really big, beautiful mountains with snow all over them. And it was quite a surprise. This is the first clearing I've had. I've been stuck in the trees most of the day and that view over there is quite, quite stunning. And uh, it's been cloudy all day, so I hope it doesn't rain, but that's always a possibility out here, isn't it? Don't fall to the left, right there. That would be bad. single track coming down was incredible. And I think I found the perfect campsite. Nice flat area right there. There's a creek over there and we have Mira right here. Wait a second. Mira? Am I hallucinating? <laughs> what are you doing here, buddy? <laughs> and we have John. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I met John and Mira in the middle of nowhere in Baja this January and we rode together for seven days and it was incredible. And we've been in touch ever since and now we, we've been talking about planning an adventure and now we're doing it! Look at that glistening in the sun. Steamy, spicy goodness. John brings a uh, stove like most people. Ryan doesn't. Yeah. Most mm. people drink coffee, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that's really the big thing, huh? That's, yeah, that is the big thing. And you're still waiting for a stick. Don't you know it's dinner time, silly? And what do I have for dinner? Well, you're not gonna be surprised. Spicy jalapeno, frijoles. Mira, I know this looks like dog food, but it's not for you. <laughs> what in the world is in your burrito? Oh, it's probably gonna make some people wretch. So we got uh, mustard flavored sardines. Ooh. We got a uh, ranch dressing. That yeah. is a Canadian burrito if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Look at that, interesting. Okay, Mira, one last stick before bedtime. Ready? Go get it. What a day, awesome day, and so great to see John and Mira again. Look who's up and ready. Good morning, Mira, good morning. You excited to have a great day? Yeah! We got the team back together again! No crashies! No flatties! No whammies! Woohoo! Let's do it, Mira! Look at her go! Look at her go! <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping up with Mira. It's good to be hanging with you guys again. Ah, here we are riding bikes. It's like, it's like we've just been doing this continually since January. Yeah. You have been. Yeah, that's I right. I took like a four month break. Yeah, but you've been doing other stuff. That's true. John might be pedaling with the dog, and you might think that that would make you slower. But it doesn't make John slower. That dude can hammer on a bicycle.
We are now rolling into the tiny town of Ovando, Montana. Population about 50, dogs over 100. This is really neat. They are all set and ready for cyclists. They have charging stations, they have a bathroom, they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> they let you camp out here for no cost. I like towns like this that embrace bike tourism. Thank you, Ovando. Look at that stack of pancakes. Is that Canadian bacon? Mm, no. <laughs> no. But it'll do. So it seems like Ovando really embraces cyclists. I'm seeing all the teepees and the jail and everything. We love the cyclists. Yeah. We miss them. They're good for business and they spend a ton of money and uh, great people. Yeah. And so how many on a normal day come through here? Oh, probably at least 25, 30. Really? Yeah. Wow. And they sleep in these little places yep. and then they come and buy food from here. I've had, during the race, I've had people sleeping on my porch when I get here, so it's <laughs> awesome. And what's it been like this year? Terrible. 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 Usually there's 20 or so bikes in town in the morning and now there's maybe one or two a week. Yeah. And is that hard for you guys? Do you expect, it's, you need that money? We need that money. You need we're, that we're missing it big time. Yeah, it's a big hit. There's probably 1,200 cyclists that come through, you know. What is there, 250 with the race? Wow. And just independently throughout the year, people wow. doing it. So, that's a big hit. That is a big hit. Thank you so much. Have a good one. We'll see you next year. Good luck. I'm really enjoying this ranch land, for sure. And all these puffy clouds up in the sky. The road we're on is like your quintessential Wild West American road. Fence along the side. You know what makes it easier to climb a steep hill? Having a dog running beside you. How many miles a day do you think she runs? Well, on any given day, I try and keep it below 12 miles a day, but if it's heavily single track, then it could be as many as 20. So uh, at this point, she's a super fit dog. And I just keep track of how her paws are doing and you know what her energy levels are like before and after the ride and then just adjust accordingly. So sometimes I'll choose a little bit different route or keep her in the box longer than I normally would just to let her rest. That's good. Drink, drink. Come on. Oh, I love my mirror hugs in the middle of a big steep hill. Good to see you, bud. You're doing great. So while we were there enjoying our ice cream, these two young dudes came up to us and said, no way, you're riding the Great Divide, cool. You wanna camp in my yard? You can take a shower at my house too. All right, these are our new friends. What's up, guys? Devin. Devin. Tyson. 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 It's his birthday today. It's 33. Woo! 33. Nice to meet you guys. Go get it. Look at that. Girl. All right, Mira, are you ready to rock? Okay, up in the back. So what I've learned so far on the Great Divide is that every day is gonna have up and down. Not always up, not always down, not always flat, but a little bit of everything. And right now, we're going up on probably the first rough road. All the other roads have been pretty well-groomed. This one, this one's a little chunky. I'm looking at my Wahoo computer and it's like this. It might be the steepest the elevation profile I've ever seen. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Right here, it doesn't look that bad, but around the corner, we might have a surprise. That's where I'm going, up there. 
That was probably a lot easier for you, Mira, wasn't it? You panting? That's what I'm doing too. We just sweat in a different way. That was a pretty good hill. That was solid. What would you say the grade was? Yeah, 12%. Wow. Yeah, and it was pretty steady for a good portion around those switchbacks. And... What I'm most scared of in Montana aren't bears. They're these guys. They're everywhere. They just pop out of the woods and they create a smoke screen wherever you go. This is a good downhill. We live right on the route, so it's um, an easy thing to host cyclists, and we love cyclists. So um, we enjoy meeting all the people and hearing their stories. And uh, Barbara's been here for 31 years. Yeah. Wow. The route was officially de de uh, de de designed, uh, <laughs> developed, yeah. developed. Thank you. Yeah. Um, in 1998, so oh. they just celebrated the, the 20th anniversary um, in yeah. 2018. Yeah. And so since she was here, people would come by and stop and ask stop for water, and ask for water and and they camp and, here. Mm -hmm. And about 15 years ago, I bought a uh, cabin from my neighbors and had it moved down in the pasture uh, specifically for the cyclists. So now they have a great place to yeah. stop and stay and, uh, and then, weather a storm or then, just take a rest day. And I joined four years ago yeah. and um, Barbara then converted a couple of sheds. So and then uh, we just got the TV up. So every year. We've been trying to uh, add more and more yeah. accommodations. Yeah. Uh, everything here is free, and the only thing that we ask when people stay with us if, is that they pay it forward. Mm -hmm. We like to think that we have four acres of love right here and kindness, mm -hmm. and we just hope that uh, any of that love and kindness would just spread out into the world. So that's what that's why that's we why do we it. That's why we do this. Yeah. You know, when I started doing this ride as the Great Divide, mm -hmm. and I think there really is a Great Divide right now. Mm -hmm in the United States, in, yeah. the, in the world, yeah. Yeah. you know. Well, we like, to, we like to think when we have our foreign visitors that we can act as ambassadors, you know, for people that live in the States, right? You, they may get a misimpression about what we are, yeah. right? And when they, when they stay with us, they can see another side of, of the way people are in the States. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. You guys are wonderful. Yeah, yeah, you're the best. You know what I've just noticed as I'm riding slowly uphill for hours here is that it's a lot drier here. It's a lot browner. And this is more what I thought all of Montana would look like. I was actually really surprised at how green and lush it was the first three days. It looked almost like the Pacific Northwest. And now it looks like the way I thought it would look. This is what Colorado looks like. This is how Mira stays cool. <laughs> you know, life is a beautiful, tragic, exciting, heartbreaking thing. And the older I get, the more I appreciate every single day on this planet. Because nothing's a guarantee. Nothing. And you never know when it's going to change. And uh, that's why I wake up psyched pretty much every day.
Way to go, my man. Nice work. Good work. Yeah, that was fun. Eh? That was a serious uphill. That was uh, that was mountain biking, for sure. Yeah. The first bit of real technical stuff I'd say we've seen on this route so far. Left turn, Mira, left turn. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, these towns, you know, that we've popped through, there, there's always something gonna happen. Yep. There's always some road magic that's coming our way, it seems like. Yep. So it's, it's good. All right, say goodnight to everybody. Say goodnight to everybody. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. Look at those birdies. Morning cows! Get it out. There he goes. Yeah. Go for it. Hey. No. Mira, you want to herd those cows, don't you? Not today. Whenever possible, I like to pick some sage and keep it for good luck. Butte, Montana, home of Evil Knievel. Here we go, it looks pretty big. And if you're wondering what happens with Sweet Mira when we go inside stores, she just sits in the basket and hangs out. She's such a good dog. We're outside of a grocery store here in Butte. We've both done our shopping, but the interesting shopping is the dog food. Gotta have dog food. Mira doesn't eat sticks, although she has them in her mouth all the time. All right, John, what'd you get for Mira? Got her some uh, kibble, a two kg bag. Is that so much? Yeah, four pounds or so. This pretty much looks like our shopping. Tortillas are easy to travel with. Peanut butter, cheese, bars. John really likes ranch dressing. Some apples. Yeah. Healthy stuff. Yeah, oh, real healthy stuff. The gold bears. You oh, gotta, you have, gotta the, have the bears. Yeah. All of my food goes in this one. And it's bulging right now because I just filled it up. And if you're wondering, this is where I keep the drone and the controller and some other electronics up here in my front bag. The tent is tucked in right here under all the brake cables and all my camping equipment and clothes. This is the 
the bear spray, extra belt, and my flip flops, and then just some knickknacks, cords, cables, tools. Ole, 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 ole. Time. Good night, guys. Good night, Ryan. Good night, John boy. Yeah, we made it to the top. You made it to the top. You were running and having a great time. Yeah, you were. <laughs> That's way steeper than what we went up. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, you got to run really fast, didn't you? So this looks steeper than anything I've ever done before. It just drops completely off. There's the cliff. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty steep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy fuck. These brakes too hard. Oh. This is crazy, Steve. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, smell that. Wow, look at that, how hot they are. <laughs> yeah, they've cooled down already. This is more of the same. Jeez, look at that. Oh no. Wow. Big. Have you ever been any, down anything that steep on your rig so far? Uh, not quite like that. No, I mean like single track stuff, sure, but like a road, like a, a jeep track? No, no, that's steep. What are you doing bouncing around in there? <laughs> Yeah. We've just come upon a, a little town or village and 
Look at that osprey. Just sitting in the morning sun, loving it, just like us. And look at this, somebody left me a present in my helmet when I went to the post office. Could it have been John and Mira? It was Mira? Oh, thank you, Mira. gentlemen it's the it's what we do at the end of the day hey, get out of my shot hey you hey yeah. hey <laughs> you're sitting on my camera there you go say hi come here mirror we're going in mirror you want to come in come in come in come on mirror come on come on so i thought i was done filming for the day but i went on my nightly walk which i usually do just to loosen my body up and within five minutes of leaving the campsite i come upon this ghost town called Bannock. And Bannock, we saw on the side of the road a highway sign that said this is the first provincial capital of Montana. And this is a full on ghost town. It's super cool. Ah, oh, it smells so fresh. All the sage got wet last night in the rainstorm. Nice view back there. put a positive spin on headwind and he calls it tailwind that just happens to be in your face. So that's how I'm trying to think of this right now. It's a tailwind. It's just in my face. It's here! <laughs> 
have tornadoes in Montana. Ow! Ah, this hail is starting to get big and fat, and it hurts. <laughs> Ow! This hail hurts, man! <laughs> We're not getting that wet, but we are definitely getting pelted by little BBs. Ow! <laughs> We're laughing, but it hurts! Ow! Okay, it was funny for a second, now it sucks! There is a lot of hail on the ground. Look at all that hail. We are in a nice warm cabin. Yep, Mira 2 is on my bed. Thank you for coming to say hi. We are in a nice warm hotel and I am so excited. Mm. All right, right here. Oh, this is one of the best roadside hotels I've ever stayed in. And our buddy Bjorn, who we met yesterday, is gonna come with us. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? I'm very, very, very ready. What are you doing in the mud? What are you doing? What a state. Now we're gonna head into Idaho for a teeny little bit, and then Wyoming. <laughs> Idaho! <laughs> what do you think, John? That's nice to be back in Idaho. Yeah. yeah. Good little descent, nice, uh, <laughs> a nice welcome. Yeah. yeah, that was great. It is time, you've been waiting all day for the stick, boom! Oh, John, I have our beans. Magical. Buenas noches.
There you are. Oh, good way to start the day. So excited for Wyoming. I'm excited for Wyoming too. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, okay, but I know we're so happy. Baby. We, we gotta go before the storm comes. Let's go. Come on, you ready? Are you ready? Let's have some fun, oh. Wyoming. Got the tent all set up with the rain fly on tonight because uh, the skies are still threatening. And if you're wondering, this bike that I've been riding, the Priority 600X, has been amazing. Top notch. Been loving it. It's been doing great on some of the technical uphills. On the downhills, it flies. It's really nice to have the 100 millimeter shock up front. And of course, my favorite part is the Gates belt drive in the pinion system. It just fires through all the gears and it's been working like a dream. Are you seeing this? It's a double rainbow! Oh man. I love rainbows. That is just seriously nature magic at work. So cool. And the pot of gold is over there somewhere. Can I have it? I'll throw it to you. Okay. It's your good night stick. Buenas noches. Go get it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Woo! Okay, Mira, time to go. Let's go, buddy. Woo.
Lots of cars, go away! This is Kevin! Woo! Woo! <laughs> you can... Yeah, you got, you got a bunny hop to go. Bunny hop, alright, do that. You think that helps, helps? Totally. That's Rocky Bros. Oh, that's Rocky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Mira is ready with the sticks. Yeah. You see what I'm doing here? I'm warming up this cinnamon roll in the afternoon sun. This is called a mountain washing machine. You come in with all your clothes and you come out clean. You're doing the dip. Yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So Kevin, what made you want to drop your job for two weeks and come bike packing here in the Continental Divide? It was Mira. Honestly, the idea that I'd be a mirror. No, <laughs> I, I wanted to do something that I've never done before, first off. Two, it's on my like, bucket list. I have a list, Kev does 101, 101 things I gotta do in 1,001 days. The reason I put it on there is because I think that on a trip like this, you push yourself so hard, you find new places within your own mind, you find new places your body can take you. And I also wanted to see the scenery, honestly. I mean. I live in Minnesota where there's not mountains. I've lived in Iowa for eight years before that, but there's not mountains, so mountains. Love it, man. Cool. We're going to have a great time. The cinnamon roll is pretty good. Sun baked. A little tent talk to finish off the day. A great day. Another great day. Every day really is, it's been awesome. Good morning, Mira. So how do you motivate yourself when things get hard? That little voice in your head tells you you can't. So sometimes when you need to, you just audibly say that you can. So I tell myself, and usually it's in Spanish, I don't know why, it's just like native. I'm a beast, I can do it. This mountain's got nothing on me. I could keep pushing, I could do this all day. I'll go up every mountain around here and down and back up again and keep going. I keep going, and that's all I do, keep going. Do it in Spanish, let's hear it. Papi, que yo soy la bestia. 
Yo soy la bestia. Yo puedo seguir subiendo toda esta montaña que están por aquí. You're wondering why he speaks Spanish. He's Dominican. He's got the Dominican sangre. Tú eres la bestia. Good job. You made it to the top. There he is. We did it. Way to go, brother. High yeah. five it up. Yeah, it's tough. Oh, how that you feeling? Tough. I feel like I just rode 65 miles, eight hours, and 8,900 feet of elevation. Oh no, that's the elevation we're at, 6,200. Holy crap, that was tough. <laughs> I'm impressed with you, man. Damn, that was harsh. Yeah, that was a tough day, man. Holy I God. commend you. That was a, That was an effort for sure. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. The sun just came up over the mountains and on the opposite side of the sky, there are two rainbows. It's a sunrise rainbow. Now that is a miracle. Oh my God, this is so cool. What a morning. Wow. <laughs> Wake up everybody. <laughs> The cows don't like the rain either.
Drive. What's happening over here now in the John Bike Shop? In the John Bike Shop, today we are replacing a spoke. And this happens, I got a 40 pound dog on the back, we're riding rough roads. And I've been riding this wheel since October on very many rough roads. So it's not surprising I have a broken spoke and the shop in town was really nice to uh, supply me. Mira, with get off me. <laughs> I'm doing an interview right now. <laughs> anyway, John's, fi John's fixing a spoke. So I just went grocery shopping. This town actually has a real grocery store with pretty much everything you could ever want. A lot of the other towns we've been through have just tiny convenience stores with almost nothing. So here we go. And the reason why I'm buying a lot of food is because we're heading into an area without much happening. So I've got two cans of diced green chilies. We got two cans of beans, a new can of peanut butter. Fish food is for tonight. Obviously that's not gonna last on the bike. Nutella. 20 tortillas, got about 15 of these bars, and some Snickers and nuts. That's about all I can hold on my bike.
Lightning is very close right now. <laughs> this is getting gnarly. Flatties, whammies, or head windies. Let's do it. We are at the Miner's Grub Stake here in Atlantic City and it is a trip. I feel like I've walked back in time and it's a lot of fun to look at all the stuff on the wall. There is a lot of old timey, quirky, kitschy things here. About this this amazing place we're in. Uh, we came through on a Harley in 08 and decided to change careers and buy a bar and restaurant. And so here we are. Yeah. Love the trail. We kind of take care of the hikers and bicycles and try to be here. Even if the kitchen's closed, we'll get you a hoagie. Make sure you're loaded up with water. Maybe a few tap beers and you're good to go. Get that meat. It's gonna power us through the basin. Laurel, thank you so much. You are welcome. This is amazing. Oh, yes. We'll see you on the trail next year, right? Let's hope. Let's do it. I gotta lose like 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be ready. <laughs> you got it, man. You got it. On our map, it says there is one place with water out here. It's called the Diagnus Well. And we're gonna go check out and see if there really is water. It was kind of tricky to find. There was no marking on the road, but we knew it was at about 20 miles after Atlantic City. Oh, and there it is. Look at that glorious water. Yes. Look at that water. Go get some of that water. It does say that we need to treat the water. So that's what we're doing. John's got his Lightsaber in there. I'm gonna chug this whole bottle and then refill. Hydrate because I don't think we have anything for the next 80 miles. Chug, 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 chug. Thank you mother nature for this well. I really appreciate it. Hi buddy. Yeah, so good to see you. So good.
It's almost nine o'clock. The sun is down. We went 93 point something and we're calling it good. That was a big push and it was a beautiful day and we got through the basin pretty much. We're just gonna wake up tomorrow and ride 15 miles to Wamsutter and get some more water and resupply and whoo, another day in Wyoming. Thank you, Wyoming. Way to go, bud, high five. Hey, thank you, brother, thank you. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Going down. Mirror's rocking her Friday sunglasses. Looking cool as hell. <laughs> there you do. Kevin, what'd you just say? I can't believe how much it hurts. <laughs> you got it, bud. Yes, sir. Si se puede. Tú eres la bestia. Vamos, 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 vamos. You got this, dude. You got this, my man. I swear it's the final hill. Woo! -wee! Hello, Colorado. Kevin is dead. Or he's in heaven, I don't know. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness. Was that, that one was of the tough. hardest physical days of your life? That was, it was just, it was 100 degrees all day. So we just rolled into Savory a little later than we thought. The museum on our map says that they have some drinks. And I was like, oh, it's probably closed. There's nobody in the parking lot. But the doors open and it is self-serve. I have a cold seltzer, my friends. And there's nothing more. I've wanted than this thing right here. They even have a freezer full of cents, Otter so. Pops and ice cream sandwiches and Klondike bars, and it's all a dollar. And over here, look at this. Please play, pay in a little flowered box. Yeah. Look at that, a whole cooler full of everything you could ever want. Thank you so much, Savory Museum. I've never seen anything like this. This is pretty incredible. They just leave this wide open for the public. What are you going to get there, bud? I got a couple uh, 
Spoon pops are calling them. Little freezies. Whew, man, what a day. <laughs> Every day is what a day. I keep saying that, but wow, this really was a day. Okay, so we've decided to make a last minute audible, a change. Instead of firing off to Steamboat, another 65 miles uphill, we're gonna take a chill day. We heard good things about a place up here called Ladder Ranch. I guess they're very friendly to cyclists. And that's where we're headed. It's only 13 miles away. So today's essentially gonna be a rest day and I think that's gonna be good for everybody. Hi, buddy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Mirror's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, you ready? You ready? Are you psyched? I can't tell. I can't quite tell. Whoa, whoa. Drop the stick. Drop the stick. <laughs> I love your energy. Nature. What the? Here we go, Kevin. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's do it. Trying to conserve for tomorrow. Hey, Kevin, how you liking these Colorado hills? Freaking loving it. He's loving it. Since there was no welcome to Colorado sign, we're going to do it right here in front of this old general store with our new friends, Vince and Gretchen. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm all happy. We're in Colorado. Mira, this is for you. Baby. Can you believe it? So we're racing down this mountain road and we pass by and John's like, popsicles. And I was like, popsicles, okay. And then we get closer and we actually, it says dog ice cream. Oh, look at that homemade. Look, how, look how happy Mira is. Yeah. <laughs> she needed a little treat. Oh yeah. All at once. Oh my god. She goodness. doesn't fool around about it. Oh, no. we were rolling into Steamboat and I was like, oh yeah, Roddy lives here. So I texted my brother, Ethan, he called Roddy. Roddy's like, yeah, you can camp, but we did not know we were gonna have enchilada fiesta. <laughs> wow, you're the best, man. Thank yeah, you so much. Bienvenidos a la fiesta. <laughs> la fiesta, I like your acento. Yeah. Mira, do you want enchiladas? Do you want enchiladas? 
dog enchiladas? You already had your dog's treat today. It is always nice to end the day with friends and familiar faces. And that's what we're doing today here in Steamboat. And we're filling our bellies full of enchiladas. La vida es buena, no? <laughs> she really goes for that water. Get it. Get it. Lots more trip left. Uh, I'll see yeah. you, bud. You take care. <laughs> I'll see you down the road, Mira, okay? Hello, cow. How are you? We're driving. Blessed to be here, man. That's right. How you feeling, bud? I feel fantastic. I feel like a million bucks. Good. I need another butt, but I need. I got a million bucks. Look at that view. Isn't that cool? Oh wow. Yeah. Say that now they're burning. Yeah. Ooh. Here they are, waiting for us. What's up, and Dana? It's mommy. It's Santa! How's it going everybody? Woo we did it! We did it! It is so good to see all of you wonderful people. Kevin, you were a champ today, buddy. Tell me about how you feeling. I can't sit right, but besides that, I feel great. Legs, legs still feel strong. What, eight and a half hours on the bike, 7,000 feet of climbing, 79 miles. 
It was a tough Woo. day. Yeah. But it was a beautiful one, at Spoken least. Like we have a new adventure here. partner tomorrow. Yeah. Dana! Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh. I'm going to go right. climb. climb. <laughs> it makes doing hard things, it, it's, it's easier when you know at the end of the day you get to see people you love. So thank joining, you all. I'm joining them too. Well, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's well, a liar, actually. The eating portion. I was about to say something really <laughs> sentimental, though. Uh, I, just, I love you I'm guys, sorry, and I appreciate yeah. you guys coming here and yeah. saying hi to us. and. Um, it really means a lot. So not only is today exciting because Dana is here, but we are riding into Silverthorne where my middle brother Logan lives with his wife Haley and their two super cute kids, Brindley and Carter. Day, Ryan. It's a beautiful day. We've never seen this one. This is the day we haven't seen, that's right. We did it. So you think maybe someday you want to come with me on a bike adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Someday that's not 70 miles. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for another goodbye. Kevin is heading off to the airport. Yeah. Why? Why are you leaving? Just kidding. We know why he's leaving. He's got things to do. Um, thank you so much for coming, man. Absolutely. It was really fun riding with you and getting yeah, to know you better. And I loved your spirit and your attitude. And you overcame a lot of pain, man. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, man. Absolutely. You're a good one, bro. Absolutely. You're a good thank one. Thank you, Ryan. Oh. Go Dana, go Dana. Yeah. It's your birthday. It was your birthday two weeks ago. Can I tell them your age? Oh yeah. Dana turned 59 years old, all right? And she is a total badass in every sense of the word. Hell yeah. She's one of my best friends. Hell yeah. She's a mentor. She inspires so many people. She owns 
one of the most successful businesses in Boulder. What else is there about Dana? She's funny as hell. She's goofy, she's quirky. She has cool haircuts. Good job, Dana. Nice. Good job. Good job. We did it. We did it. Oh my God, it was so great. You know, I was, I was feeling like, I don't know, yesterday that ride took it out of me a little, you know, that first ride. And, and then you bought that stupid stuff for lunch. It's like a lettuce. <laughs> I was trying to be healthy, Dana. I ate so much junk food the last I'm three days. Sorry. Like, I need vegetables. <laughs> oh, look. This is trail magic. This is trail yeah. magic right here. How are you doing, bro? What's going on? Where are we? What is this called? Yeah, so we're in uh, we're in Hartsville, Colorado right now. Yeah. My wife Chelsea and I we just got some land out here and um, just wanted to open it up to people and um, yeah. That was so amazing because I told you like we just kept rolling and rolling. I'm like, I feel like something amazing is gonna happen. And then this happened. <laughs> wow, we're at Camp Indigo. It's like the happiest place on earth. I am continually in awe of how the universe just provides sometimes, you know. It just makes me happy and it uh, really helps reinforce my faith in humanity that people are good and people want to help and uh, it makes my heart grow, it makes my heart swell, which is, this is always a good thing and now we have a beautiful sunset. So much love for you! Yee-hoo! Oh, Dana. That was... Can you believe what just happened? Like, we just like pulled into like Unicorn Ranch or something. It was <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
I think we underestimated this day. I didn't know there's gonna be something giant right before Salida. This is definitely one of the steeper hills I've ridden on the entire route. And Dana's lucky enough to be here with me. <laughs> you did it! High five. Oh, that was a tough one. Get all that ice cream we did it Yummy. Dana. good I know. job it was so oh. good it was what hard. a day huh yeah it was a hard day yeah up and down and oh wind God. lots of wind and yeah. but we made it, it happen great. and yeah. here we are it was so beautiful such a beautiful day that's the whole yeah. route has been beautiful every single day there's never yeah. been a day that's like mm -hmm. it's like the whole route so gorgeous we live in an amazing country thanks ryan yeah, you're welcome. Take me along. Thanks for coming along. So good. I can't do an adventure without you. There you go. No way, Jose. Good. But speaking of without you, uh huh. You're leaving. I am. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Dana is uh, her sister's picking her up, mm -hmm. and Dana's got to get back and work. Her cafes yep. need Dana. And I'm gonna have a sister adventure for a couple of days. I love it. I love it. Um, well, I really appreciate you coming, thank you hanging so much. out, and again we. We experienced magic, like yeah. we always do. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the world is better with you so around, good. and I appreciate Aww, that. That's it is, so sweet. it is, and it's sweeter. Yes, yeah, the world is sweeter. Good morning. I woke up in my friend Brandy's backyard. What? Look at this sign. User Mira John Kevin. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Look at this campground and it says support for GDMBR, specifically us. They're in space one, trail magic. Wow. <laughs> Let's go check this out. No way. Here, Are you kidding me? Alan Rose. Ryan Van Duzer. Nice yeah. to meet you, brother. Oh, I know you. This is amazing. You've been waiting? Yes, we have been waiting. Sure. How'd, you, how'd you know I was because coming? Because we watched. By, what do you mean, how'd we know? We watched all your videos. <laughs> this <laughs> really is amazing. I can't believe it. I've had a long, hard day, and here you are. Trail magic. Oh, my dear Lord. Look at that. 
This is incredible. Thank you so much. Look, gonna that, gonna that's, send Sunday sauce. That is heavy too. <laughs> Family style dinner in a oh, campground. Oh, yeah. Alan, what have you done? Yeah, we're talking brownies. You gotta have brownies. Look at that. Chocolate cherry with chili powder. I'm finally going to bed. It uh, was too fun to leave the company of uh, Alan and Marsha. They're such good people. Aren't you coming with me She's, all the I way? I'm not going. I am going back uphill. Thank Great you again meeting. for everything. Oh that was God, such was a good super, surprise. Super. And I'll see you in Boulder. That's right. You better come to Boulder. I'm going to go get one of those Dozeritos. Yeah, yeah you got to do it, man. How Have a good one, people? brother. See you later.
I am at about 7,800 feet above sea level right now, going up to almost 12,000, so 4,000 feet of up. <laughs> I think it's gonna take a long time. I've heard the climb is like 20 miles or something. That's all right, because you know why? I have nothing else to do today but ride my bike. This is a really beautiful desert area, but in a couple hours, few hours, when I get on top of this pass, it is not gonna be desert. It's gonna be high alpine. And that's one of the things I've really loved about this route is that the landscape changes all the time from day to day and sometimes from hour to hour. Good morning, cows. You know, I've always enjoyed going uphill. And it doesn't matter if I'm riding a bike or running. Going uphill has always been my strong point. I've often said that I'd rather ride up and down steep mountains all day than ride flat roads. And you go nice and slow and you can hear your heart beating. You can hear the birds chirping. This really is the perfect speed. I'm going 3.7 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice way to spend this chill Sunday morning. I think this calls for a little happy dance. Oh yeah, baby. There's not much oxygen up here. Hello there. Now it is time for some real talk. And I thought this would be a great spot since it is the high point of the entire Great Divide trip, high point in altitude. But uh, today will be my last day riding the Great Divide. And the reason is, is because I'm pretty much at the southern end of Colorado and New Mexico has instituted a very strict policy 
for all travelers entering the state. They're saying that everybody needs to quarantine for 14 days, and that's not something that I want to do. So this is it. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna ride south to a town called Platoro, and my good friend Larkin is going to pick me up and take me back to Boulder. My heart is very full right now. My heart and soul are very happy. And I'd like to give a huge thanks to Priority Bicycles for helping to make this dream happen. They were instrumental. We've been developing this bike right here for the past few months specifically for this adventure. And it worked flawlessly. This thing is top notch. The Gates Carbon Drive, the pinion gearbox, everything worked <laughs> so well. And I always had to smile and laugh when John and Kevin had to lube their chains and mess with their derailleurs. I was like, ha ha, <laughs> I don't have to do that. Oh, So here I am smiling in a field on top of a divide, on top of a pass here in Colorado. It's a beautiful Sunday and I'm gonna be going home happy and fulfilled. Thank you so much for joining this, for joining this adventure, for joining all my other adventures, for being part of this channel. I love this community. You guys are all awesome, and I hope you're out there challenging yourselves in your own ways. Please like and subscribe. Share these videos with as many people as possible. That really helps me. If you have the ability, please join my Patreon. And, wow. I'll see you down the road, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way to go. Down the road, keep going forward, always. We'll see you later, my friends.